Hi, this is My Keys to Music and I'm Mark. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Nord Sound Manager and we're going to set up a set list with my Nord Electro 5. Thanks for watching and let's get started. Okay, I have here a Nord Sound Manager with the set list selected. Just for your information, I am connected to the Nord Electro 5 and I'm using version 1.42 of the OS on the Electro. The Nord Sound Manager happens to be the latest version here as of April 2018. This is Nord Sound Manager V7.28. So that gets you oriented as to what I'm looking at right now. So you can join me on that. Um, now, let's take a look. I've got a couple of songs I've been playing with, and we're going to play with these here in a second. And I think the easiest thing to do, and this might actually happen to you by accident, you might actually be in a position where you've clicked on set list and somehow you've managed to delete the entire set list, or you just want to start over from scratch and start a new because you do get a set list from the factory but uh, that is pretty much meaningless other than just uh, it's a sample of how it can be done and, and maybe for demonstration purposes but I think the easiest way to get started is just to clear the decks you can either select all or you can just do uh, something even easier than that which is go up under file and select format and that will take out every single song within all of the set lists so I'll click yes and voila it's all gone now You'll notice that when you do that, however, you have nothing to start with. I can't right-click here and begin to reassign programs into my songs. Um, I'm pretty much dead in the water here on the computer. And you may find yourself in that position as well as I found myself in that position just a few minutes ago. So that's where videos like these come in handy. So what to do, in my opinion, on how to solve this, and unless you guys have a better way, this is how I've solved it. So I'm going to go here to the actual Nord keyboard, click a couple of buttons, and we'll be back in business. Okay, so you want to make sure you're in the set list mode, and you also want to make sure your sound protection or your write protection is off, so enabling the Nord keyboard to actually uh, set up for being able to write sounds. So I went to set list one and clicked store and store, and that will get me back to ground one here and where I can start to see something on the Nord Sound Manager. Now let's take a look back at the Nord Sound Manager. We now have an unnamed song in our set list. So that's all we need to get started, so let's do that. First thing I'm going to do on this song for this set list is I'm going to rename the song. So I'll just right click and rename and I'll call this one That's the Problem. So it won't take apostrophe S. I'm clicking apostrophe but it won't take it. So it doesn't take those special characters. So I'll just say That's. And if I do this you'll see that I'm out of characters. There's a limit on the number of characters you can put for these songs. So I will just I'll just rearrange this here a little bit like that, and that's TH problem. That's the problem. Then I right click and, and select Relink Program. Here you'll see four slots available for four different programs in my song. So any song can have four programs, at least on the Electro 5. I believe you get five slots on the Nord Stage 3. So it's pre-assigned grand strings, walking wheels, custom, and big strings. So that just happened to be what it was saved on the Nord keyboard when I just did that a minute ago. Let me right click here and I want to select for this song for That's the Problem, I want to select something from a, a program that I've already pre-assigned or pre, pre set up. So it's a bass and piano. So I've got bass in the left hand, piano on the right, and that's how the song begins. So then part two of the song is I introduce a marimba every now and again, every few minutes there's a marimba coming in or every few you know, basically on the B part of the song. So I'll select B, and on the B part of the song, I want that bass and marimba. So here we are with that. And then part three is I'll introduce a steel drum solo on that song. So that's kind of neat. We'll do bass and steel drum right here. That's part three of the song. Now I don't have a part four of the song, so I'll just leave it as big strings. I can't blank it out, unfortunately. As far as I know, you can't. So I'll just leave it that way and ignore it when I perform. Now that I've got one song completely in there, uh, what Nord tells you to do is right click and duplicate that. That will give me another song and then I can rename that one. This one we'll call Yes Dear. And at this point it's rinse and repeat. Right click relink program on this song I'm going to be using. I'll stick with the bass and piano so I won't even touch that. Then on part B of that I use brass. So let's click Brass, and that's pretty much all that makes up that song. So now I've got two songs out of my set list. You saw how quickly I could do that. 
In my opinion, it's better to do this through the sound manager if you can, because it's easy to rename things with the actual keyboard typewriter. It's a little easier and less cumbersome than the Nord, although I'm sure some of you guys are lickety split on that Nord uh, interface on that OLED display and using the, the push buttons to, to get those names in there, because it isn't that bad, actually. But I'm a keyboard guy, a, a typing keyboard guy, so it's easier for me to use the sound manager. And then you just go ahead and do that. So this will be set list one and song one and two. So you can see I can have up to 50 songs in a single set list, which would be essentially an entire evening for most people and more for a lot of you. But then you can have a whole nother set list for two, three, and four. So you get four different set lists with 50 songs each. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and it showed you a couple things about making set lists using the Nord Sound Manager, the Electro 5, and or the Nord Stage 3. If you want to learn more about the Sound Manager and all the features and attributes, along with how the sound files work within the Nord ecosystem, feel free to check out my other videos. I'll put links throughout this video to d demonstrate where you can go for that, as well as in the description. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like the content, and we'll catch you on the next video.